Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're going to learn all about the Nook. This is an interesting tool and it has a crochet hook at one end and a knitting needle looking end. And it also has a hole. Let me grab this large one so you can see. It has a hole at one end. And this tool, if we look at the packaging, allows you to knit with a crochet hook. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Leisure Arts for sending me uh, a kit to try. And um, I'm always intrigued by new tools and trying new things. So this was definitely something I was intrigued by and was looking forward to trying. It also comes with these cords. Now, if you notice, the smaller nooks are blue. This is the smallest one uh, in this particular kit is a 3.5 millimeter. And then they go all the way up to a nine millimeter. And these cords you use, you thread this hole here with the cord and you use it. And we're going to learn and, about the basics of using the nook in just a moment. But you can see the thicker cords correspond to the larger nooks and these thinner cords kind of correspond to these smaller nooks. They also come, the ones I have here are colorful and plastic. They also come if you flip over the package you can see there's other kits available and there's a kind of a uh, smaller set for kids in bright colors and you can also get these in wood so if you prefer wood they also come in um, some pretty uh, kind of light wood different sizes so we're going to learn how to use the nook I have here some of my own worsted weight acrylic yarn that we're going to use just a easy basic yarn and a kind of a medium weight. So let's get started and learn the basics of using the nook. Okay, we're going to just learn the very basic knit stitch. If you go on the Leisure Arts website, there is the knit stitch, the purl stitch, there are cables, nooking in the round, all kinds of interesting things. But we're just going to learn the very basics here just to get started. So I have the six millimeter nook and the corresponding pink thread. So this purple here goes with the purple cord and the blue with the blue, etc. I also have my yarn. So what we need to do is thread our nook first. So there's a little dab of glue here at the end, so it makes for easy threading. So you're gonna just insert the cord into this hole here. We can unwind it a little bit. So just get it threaded just like that. I have a long tail. You don't want your tail to be too short because it'll kind of get tangled up. So just get everything out of the way and then we're going to put a slip knot on the nook to get started. So what you want to do is wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind that loop, reach in with the nook, bring up a loop, and go ahead and tighten just like when you crochet. If you've ever been curious about knitting, this is an interesting kind of stepping stone if you want to explore knitting a little bit. It's sort of like um, Tunisian crochet if you've ever tried that or have been curious about that. So we're going to get our um, tail out of the way and we need to put some chains onto the nook. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around this hook end and bring it through the loop. We're going to just do a few to make a small little swatch of this. Okay, so let's make another chain. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, we now have a starting chain that we'll be working into, and our cord is still back here. The next thing we need to do is get all of our stitches onto the nook, okay? So what we're going to do, this loop here counts as our first stitch. So we're going to, if you've ever crocheted this, um, when we wrap the yarn around the hook, it'll look a little bit different than what you're used to doing with crochet. And I wanted to mention too, you can hold your hook like this, like I normally do the knife hold, or you can hold it like this, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Either way will work. So what you want to do is insert your hook into the chain and then with your hook pointing down, you're going to just reach around and pick up that yarn and pull it through. Okay? 
and that stitch will stay on your hook. Insert the hook into the next chain, reach back, grab that yarn, and pull it through. Insert your hook into the next chain, reach back, grab that yarn, and pull it through. Insert your hook into the next chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. Next chain, reach back, grab the yarn and pull it through. Next chain, reach back, grab the yarn and pull it through. Last chain, insert the hook into the chain, reach back, grab that yarn and pull it through. Okay? We now have all of our stitches on the nook. So I'm going to show you how to work the first row. So what we're going to do next is take our work that's on the nook and slide it off onto this cord. Now this cord is kind of satiny, so it'll slide pretty easily. Okay, so we're going to slide this out. Now we have our tail from earlier. We're going to pull that free. So go ahead and just pull that out. Now if you've ever knit before, you know that you have to turn your work. So what we're going to do is turn our work, get everything situated, get all these tails out of the way, and you can kind of um, pull this through if you need to. Next, we're going to let our yarn tail hang down and out of the way, and the end of our nook out of the way, and then we want to grab our working yarn. However you like to hold yarn is fine. And then we're ready to work our knit stitch of our row. So now we're ready to work our knit stitch. We're holding our work in our left hand. The working yarn, that's the yarn attached to the yarn ball, is in our left hand as well, and that's what's connected to the yarn ball. And we're holding our nook in the right hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our hook from left to right. So go in from the left and come out on the right. You can go over top the cord or under it, it doesn't matter. Then we're gonna do the same thing, reach back, and pull the yarn through, just like that, okay? So we're inserting, let me just bring that a little closer. We're inserting the hook, the nook, the hook end of the nook, I should say, in from the left, so we're coming in on this side of the loop, and we're going through, just like that. It doesn't matter if the cord is there or not, it'll get pulled through. So we're gonna reach back and pull the yarn through, okay? So we just wanna continue all the way across. Insert the hook from left to right into the loop, reach back, pull the yarn through. It might help you to keep your hook pointing downward. It's um, The more you practice, you'll figure out what how you like to hold it best. So insert the nook into that loop from left to right, reach back, pull some yarn up. Okay, again, keeping all these stitches on there. Reach back, into the loop, reach back, pull some yarn through, just like that. Insert into the loop from left to right, reach back, pull the yarn through. Two loops left, insert from left to right, reach back, and pull it through. Again, we're not worrying about the cord. You can go under it or over it, doesn't matter. Okay, last loop. Reach in, reach back, and pull the yarn through, okay? So we've worked our first row, and then I'm gonna show you how to work the next row of our work. So to transition to the next row and continue, again, we're just doing a basic knit stitch, nothing fancy. You wanna pull this cord out. Pull it all the way out, just like that, okay? Now mine was a little long, so I'm going to shorten it up, just pull it up a little bit, and have this tail here, just like that, okay? So then what we wanna do is do the same thing we did before. We're just gonna gently push this off of our tool just like that, and then we're going to pull this tail out. So go ahead and pull the tail out. Then we can flip our work, just like with knitting. So carefully flip everything. And I'm just gonna make sure everything's on my left-hand side so I'm not getting anything mixed up here. 
So we have our, our cord hanging on this side. We have our tool in our right hand. And I'm going to grab the working yarn, the yarn attached to the yarn ball, and we're going to do the same thing to be in the next row. So insert the nook from left to right again. Reach back. We can get this cord tightened up if you need to. Reach back and pull the yarn through. Just like that. Insert the nook into the next loop. Left to right. Reach back, pull the yarn through. Okay, we're just going to continue that. Insert the nook into the loop from left to right. Reach back, pull the yarn through. Insert the nook into the loop from left to right. Reach back, grab that yarn, and pull it through. Just like that. If you need to tighten the satin from time to time, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more yarn off the yarn ball here. Grab my working yarn in my left hand. Okay, the next loop. Insert into the loop from left to right. Reach back, grab some yarn, and pull it through. Okay, we're just going to continue all the way across. I'm using my left hand a little bit. Let me tighten that up so I can show you. I'm using my left hand a little bit to kind of find these uh, loops so I can get the hook in there. Now this one's a little bit snug. There we go. Okay, so insert the nook into the next loop, reach back, grab the yarn, and pull it through. I like to sometimes stop, even when I'm knitting, and just kind of like straighten out my row. Okay, insert the nook into the next loop. Coming up to the end here, there it is. Sometimes that cord gets in the way. Reach back and pull the yarn through. Okay, our last loop of the row, insert, reach back and bring the yarn through. I didn't mention this before, but when you're using the nook, you wanna just, uh, from time to time, just double check that your stitches are correct. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're still at eight stitches, so that's good news. So to continue, you're just gonna do the same thing. Just keep turning and flipping your work and working the rows like we did and until it's as long as you want it to be. If you want your piece to be wider, you can just simply chain more at the beginning of your project. And if you want it longer, just simply work more rows. I'm going to work a few more rows so we can get a better um, idea of what this fabric is going to look like once we've worked some more rows. So I went ahead and worked some more rows with the nook and as you can see it looks just like uh, knitted garter uh, stitch fabric that you would you would get if you knit all the rows with your knitting needles. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is just the basics. If you want to learn some fancier stitches, like the purl stitch or even cables and um, using your nook uh, in the round, just head over to leisurearts.com and uh, check out some patterns and tutorials that they have there for the nook. So that is how you use the nook. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.